So liposarcoma is again while one of the common subsets of soft tissue sarcomas in general in its own self tends to be a heterogeneous group of tumors. Starting off again from a spectrum perspective of fatty tumors, lipomas are typically the benign tumors. These don't transform or degenerate into a malignancy. So once a lipoma remains a lipoma. But within the malignant spectrum of these fatty tumors or lipomatous tumors, you have a low grade or grade one variant called atypical lipomatous tumor, what used to be called well-differentiated liposarcoma. This by its own self does not have any metastatic potential, but over a period of time can undergo dedifferentiation or transformation into a higher grade tumor. The intermediate grade tumor would be a myxoid liposarcoma. These can be more aggressive with a higher proportion of what is called round cell component. And then the high grade liposarcomas would include pleomorphic liposarcomas and the dedifferentiated liposarcomas where the well differentiated liposarcoma transformed into a higher grade spindle cell sarcoma, thus rendering the clinical diagnosis of a dedifferentiated liposarcoma. So it's, it's not unusual that when we get questions about a patient with a liposarcoma, we would have to first start off by saying, can you please clarify what type of liposarcoma we're talking about because the biology and clinical behavior are different, metastatic patterns can be different, and certainly there may be also some therapeutic significance in each one of these subsets that would be quite relevant for a given patient.